And yet, subhanAllah, Qabil, so he buried his own brother, and instead of repenting to Allah, he ran away. He took his woman and he went to live in the flatland because there's mountains and flatland. Adam alayhi salam was living close to the mountains, rugged mountains. And he starts to grow a whole new nation of his own. And yet subhanAllah Qabil, instead of teaching them righteousness, all he knows is wrong. The, the amazing thing about Qabil is that he never made partners with Allah. And he never taught his children to worship anyone beside Allah. There was no shirk. It was always tawheed. Adam alayhi salam became heartbroken for the loss, not only of his son Habib, but because a father has seen his own children enemies of each other. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to mend the heart, the broken heart of Adam alayhi salam. So Allah gave shirk to Adam alayhi salam as a gift in exchange for the loss of his son Habib. And Allah made Sheith a prophet, not a messenger, a prophet, something a little bit lesser in rank. And Adam salam taught Sheith nearly everything he knew. He didn't teach him everything he knew because Allah is the one that taught Adam salam. No one can be as knowledgeable as Adam salam, but he taught his son Sheith as much as he can. And Sheith became a prophet. And subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Sahih Hadith, he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down 103 scrolls. 50 of these scrolls were sent to this prophet Sheikh. Why? Because it was in the, in the beginning of mankind, in the beginning of the world. Many advices, many uh, guidance had to be given to start off strong with. What did these uh, scrolls have? They had lots of wisdoms about character building, behavior, manners, etiquettes. Not much about worshipping Allah because that was established. And these were full of wisdoms. Among these wisdoms were uh, make a time for your Lord in during the day. Like stay like take an hour off and sit pondering and reflecting upon Allah's creation. That is an ibadah in itself, which is a sunnah that has been forgotten today. So these are wisdoms and words that she used to teach the people very strongly. Unfortunately, my brothers and sisters. Qabil and his people were growing in number and Sheep and his children were growing in number as well. Time passed and Adam alayhi salam grew old and then his death time had arrived. Adam alayhi salam was 960 years old while Sheep was approximately 240 or 260 years old. This is in accordance with the Israeli tradition. The Prophet ﷺ said, When Adam's life came to an end, he said to the angel of death, But I still have 40 years left, because Adam was supposed to live up to a thousand years. SubhanAllah. And he said to him, But you gave those 40 years to your son Dawood. Have you forgotten? And the automatic reaction of Adam was that he briefly denied. And the Prophet ﷺ explained this by saying, and so his progeny inherited the character trait of denial. He forgot when he ate from the tree, and so his progeny inherited forgetfulness. And he made a mistake, so his progeny inherited the habit of making mistakes. My brothers and sisters in Islam, the people of the mountain, it was said, this is Israeli tradition, the men and women in the mountains was that the men had a more attractive look, they were more good looking than the women of the mountain. As for the land, flat land, it happened to be that the women were better looking than the men. She, he forbid his people from mixing with the people of Qabid, especially the men and the women. SubhanAllah, Iblis comes along. Iblis used to come in the form of people, you could see him, now we can't. And he impersonated a young boy, an apprentice. And Iblis brings instruments of music, 
flutes, drums, and starts mixing them up and creates tunes. The humans had never encountered something like this as yet. Iblis starts to play this music and obviously gives you a good mood, right? And what happened was that the people of Qabil were very interested in it. They started coming close, they started listening to it. And Qabil starts, was so happy that he made an anniversary every year to make a celebration. And they would sing these, these flutes and, and drums and a mixture of instruments. And they would start to move from side to side and develop dancing towards it. The people of Sheath, the righteous men, they started hearing this flute and the righteous women. And they wanted to listen, come and see what this is, curiosity. So they went and they started listening. And when they saw them playing in the anniversary, they noticed who? Their women. As a result of these flutes and uh, these drums and this music and everything, women started to decorate themselves. And that was the first recorded time in history, this is based on a hadith as well, that tabarruj happened. The word tabarruj, don't start to take off your clothes and you know, decorate yourselves in public, right, in such a form. These women start to come out, they decorate themselves, they wore makeup, they started to show some skin, and men saw them, of course, from the mountains, they were pretty good looking, the women of the land were pretty good looking, and subhanAllah, this lust began to develop. And this is what causes zina. Zina started to happen, mixing and pre-mixing with music and dancing and anniversaries and the concerts. This is how it all happens, brothers and sisters. Subhanallah, nobody committed shirk. Nobody was worshipping other idols or committing shirk or wearing amulets and believing in superstitious things. No one was doing that. The only thing that Iblis managed to influence them with is just listening to their lustful desires. Sheath couldn't handle, he couldn't, like people were moving towards Qabil and Qabil's people were increasing. Sheath people were decreasing because of lust and desires. Sheath then died and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent another prophet who existed at the time of Adam, Prophet Ibn 